Hey guys, this is Blind Tony, and I'm actually going to be doing a cool gear review for you guys on the SM58 and the Guitar Q Pro by MXL. I'm going to do one at a time, then I'm going to put them together to show you what kind of sounds these things can make. Anyway, check it out. The SM58 made by Shure Incorporated, and a very amazing industry standard microphone that you see everywhere. Guitars, bass, vocals, and drums, heavily used by vocals. Um, I use this to record for vocals, I use this to record for guitar. It is a dynamic cardioid microphone. It delivers a lot of body, a very standard size diaphragm for the microphone, but this thing is flawless. I love this thing. I'm going to show you guys what this thing can do for guitars and vocals. I'm going to show you a little sample of my new single that will be coming out here within the next month called Never. As you heard guys, that thing can stand up, it delivers a lot of body, it's very full, good clarity. But another microphone that I've been using a lot, I don't use it as much as I used to, but I do use it, it's excellent and can be used for a snare drum, it's heavily used um, for guitar, obviously, because that's what it's made for. It is the Guitar Cube Pro from MXL, this thing will run you about $300, but on Musician's Friend I was able to get this sucker for $110. It's a beautiful microphone. It is a condenser, so it does require 48 volts of phantom power on the, whatever interface you use. For me, I use a audio box by Personas, and I also record guitar with a Line 6 Spider 4. It is an awesome microphone. I'm gonna show you guys a track of what this actually can do, and then after that, I'm gonna show you what both of these microphones put together when you do dual miking. It is pretty sweet. guys as you can hear that microphone was actually pretty sweet the thing I love about the cube is it delivers a lot of clarity to your sound <clears throat> and another thing I want to show you real quick is how I mic these two you usually want the cube to be about five inches away from the base of the amplifier I'm using a spider 4 it's a nice amp it's about 75 watts I got this about four years ago it's what I've been using this entire time for all the demos that I recorded and then the SM58 you want it to um, actually capture the base of the amplifier itself. That's why I have it centered and right there, and you usually want the cube to be right behind it. But as I said, this is a condenser, so it does require 48 volts of phantom power. Not very many cheap mixers will have that, so I recommend you either get something like the Shure X2U, which is another interface I have. I'll probably do a gear review on that if you guys want, and the Personas Audio Box, which is a two-channel um, interface with phantom power. Thanks again, guys. This is Blind Tony. Hope you digged it. And we will be back.